Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have another sketchbook video. Yes, we are wearing the masks. They're still kind of mandated on campus, so we're just gonna deal with it. But listen, we've got Justine here today. And Justine, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from California. Oh, wow, what part? Uh, Bay Area. Okay, awesome, awesome. And uh, what's your dream job? Um, I guess something in VizDev. VizDev, okay. So listen, Justine has a phenomenal sketchbook. Why don't we open this thing and start flipping through it? And um, so Justine, I would say, is one of my students in Foundation Drawing that draws slower, right? Yeah. And, and um, so VizDev, so that would mean you would be working on what specifically, like what really interests you? Um, I guess I like layout and backgrounds. Layout and backgrounds. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's going to be really fun when you're in the perspective class. And this is way, look at the handwriting. I mean, my God, I'm, I'm just like, I love the way Justine writes in, in her sketchbook. Really awesome. What is your favorite thing to draw? Um, I think people. People. Yeah. And this is super far back in September, right? Yeah. And what, what is the one thing um, that you've taken away so far in the foundation drawing classes that has helped you? Um, perspective. Really? I, yeah, I, I think before I didn't really know how perspective worked. And when I would do backgrounds, it would be more of like uh, less of interiors and more of uh, environmental stuff because I guess the rules um, they like apply less or you can hide them better <laughs> if I it see. looks incorrect. I see. Yeah. Very cool. And how's your experience going here at SVA? We are in room 1103F. Uh, I, I really like it here so far. Awesome. Yeah. Also, you're having a good experience here at SVA in the animation department. Yeah. Now, listen, okay, so let me ask you a couple questions about your art. So now you, when, hold on, don't flip yet, go back to that page. So when you did this value thing here, most students really did not like this. It looks like you really enjoy doing it. And tell me like a little bit about this page and how you did so good. Did you do this type of drawing in high school? Um, I did it, I think, yeah, for high school. Um, I did it by myself, and I guess I just like, I honestly don't know. I just really enjoyed doing. You like drawing. rendering and spending yeah. a little bit more time. How long did that drawing take you? I think this one took like two hours. And you just kind of get lost in it, right? Yeah. So that, that's very, very different. Now, can you go back one page? Because I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. I mean, seriously, look at the handwriting. How do you write like that? I mean, my God, that is so level. I think, and, yeah, I think I just default to that. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. So you're into drawing the figure, and, and you're really good. You, you can keep flipping. You can, but what, what makes Justine's sketchbook very different from everybody else's is that you enjoy doing the long stuff, yeah. which is really impressive because most animation students hate doing the long uh, stuff like this. But... Um, yeah, I, I love this. So you've got a little bit of photo reference. This was for our, was it for a portrait or was it for fabric? It was for value. I did three of them. I see. Yeah. So you, you really spend a lot of time per page. Yeah. Absolutely. You're not just cranking through these. And what pencil are you using? I think uh, for the beginning of the sketchbook, I used the HB. HB. Or, or 4B, I think. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like a mechanical pencil, it's yeah. just like a regular pencil. Yeah. Wow, and, and so have you experimented with it? And the modeling factors, that's really good for a first year student with a pencil, yeah. um, let alone uh, you know fourth year student. You, you kind of kicked my butt, I, I didn't do that until fourth year. And then um, this is just like off the cuff with a little bit of gestural stuff. And, mm -hmm. and even though you enjoy doing the, the long drawings, um, you got some really good loose gestural line. It's not, your drawings are not stiff, which is awesome. Yeah, so how long were these? I think five minutes. Five minutes yeah. each, okay. And um, do, you, do you sometimes get really irritated in class? You can keep flipping uh, when we do the short drawings. Yeah, because I feel like I can't finish them in time. Are, do you do you are, do you feel as though you're getting a little bit faster? Yeah, I think so. 
Wow. And, and who's your favorite artist? Who, who inspires you the most? Um, I don't have a specific artist in mind, um, but there's one artist on Instagram. I think their name is Angela. I have no idea. Okay. I don't remember their name. But Okay. Was... Are you following them on yeah. your Instagram? Okay. Yeah. So when we um, send people to your Instagram, they'll, they'll look at who yeah. you follow. Awesome stuff here. Really cool hand drawing. And, and then again, like when I saw this, very nobody in the class did this type of portrait where it's like really long. And I really appreciated it. it it's, it's, it's not only good for me, it's good for you, but it's good for the other students to see that um, just because they're in the animation department doesn't mean that they can't experiment with spending a little bit more time on stuff. Good job. Thank you. And that didn't smudge too bad. Yeah. And so you're just doing some fun stuff with food? Yeah, look, I went over to my friend's dorm and this is what we ate. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you just sketched it or did you take a picture of it? I just sketched it. That is such good practice. Good for you. Thank you. That's called true art student. <laughs> <laughs> I would just eat it and fall asleep. <laughs> I would most definitely eat it and fall asleep. Good job. Love the shape of the fabric, clothing. Now, actually, go, go back to that page one more time. I mean, that's that figure down over there, that's really good, delicate edge line. I could not do that to save my life when I was your age. You're, you're really, you got some good line. Thank you. And is like a page like this, is most of it out of your imagination? Um, no, these are all like handbook references I found. And um, this person was from life. Okay, yeah. very nice job. Just some quick gesture stuff from the homework video. Yeah. And then tell me a little bit about this page. You just did it on your own? Uh, yeah, so I found some skeleton references of, I think, bulls. And I just drew them with a pen. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. So you have some, you, you have some staying power in terms of you like to focus. Yeah. You don't like, you just get lost in this. Yeah. That is awesome. Those look amazing. Thank you. And you did that on your own and that's not even yeah. like, okay, <laughs> would you say that you're homesick a little bit? Um, actually not, not that much, <laughs> <laughs> but I do miss uh, my mom's food. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. This is fantastic. Thank you. And what is this? Like, where did you, did you, is this from life or from a photo? Tell me a little bit more about this. This yeah. is a gem. So I, I basically just stood there and drew this like honey stand at ch the Chelsea Market. And this was actually in class during the break. I'm pretty impressed. How long did it take you to do that drawing and did anyone come up and bother you? No, actually, I think everyone was just doing their own thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. God, that is so good. Thank you. What pen is that, by the way? I think there's Stabilo pen, Stabilio? Stabilo. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then go into, is that color race pencil or yeah, just this a... Yeah, is, this is color race. Okay. Yeah. Col, uh, Prismacolor, why did you discontinue color race? You, you've just <laughs> disappointed millions of people. And just some random drawing. Yeah. Architectural stuff that is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Now, have you drawn most of your life like this? You have to have because you didn't just come to SVA and draw like this. I, I think I started... Uh, drawing more seriously when I was 15. 15. Yeah. And did you have an art high school or a regular high school or just a really good art teacher? No, I, I didn't really have a formal art teacher and um, my school was more STEM focused. So I didn't really take any art classes <laughs> besides okay. like ceramics. And so would you say that you learn even from some instructors on YouTube maybe? Um, I think Instead of, not YouTube, but um, being around like uh, people who also do art, I learn from them and we learn from each other. Gotcha. Yeah. Good stuff, really. Oh, that is gorgeous. Is that watercolor? Oh uh, yeah, this is watercolor. Yeah, I, I love this page. It, it's a bevy of everything. You've got pencil, pen, mixed in with watercolor, and somehow, some way, you did not get the paper to buckle. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. And then that was your fabric drawing. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Whoa. And where was this? It was at a thrift store. 
And they had a really large shoe rack and I thought it was really interesting. That is so cool. Yeah. So you, you, you are really an artist artist because uh, I remember I went to my, that, those are some gorgeous heads. I went to my aunt's house one uh, holiday and everybody's shoes were on the front carpet because everyone had to take their shoes off um, before we went into the house. And there were like 20 pairs of shoes and I'm like, oh my God, that would make such a good painting because each shoe has a different personality. Yeah, these figure drawings look fantastic. Thank you. Now, what is, is this just from something on the internet? Yeah, I, I went to a line of action. Love it. And this one, you gotta tell me about this one. So, um, my friend and I were on the way to Chelsea Market, I think, yeah. And then we sat on the bus. And, and you drew this on the bus? No, I, I took a picture of it because the bus was really shaky yes. and I drew it later. Oh my God, yeah. damn, you are gonna kick serious butt in the perspective class. Thank you. That, that, okay, so you don't even have to do the one point perspective homework, it's done, <laughs> okay? So you're ahead in your homework for next semester. Wow. Gosh. Super, uh, and your compo So, did you watch any of the sketchbook videos that I showed in class, like for any inspiration? Yeah, actually, I I saw I think Dana Terrace's sketchbook when I was really really young. Oh, you did. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So you you've seen and you've been had some inspiration. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, oh, and there's uh, the handwriting again, <laughs> mixed with the organic hands. So cool. Yeah, uh, wait a second, I gotta get that whole page in. So this to me, I mean, you're also a designer. So like graphic design is just, that. that is beautifully well co composed across two pages. I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, wow. I never saw that page. And what, What's your vibe about our classroom? Do you feel it's a little too small or are you used to it or is it only too small because I keep saying it is? Uh, I think I got uh, used to it. You're used yeah. to it and you're cool with it? Yeah. Okay, nice. Wow. Really cool work. Thank you. And you're doing, this was the perspective homework. Yeah. Wonderful one point and you're doing did you you use the ruler i'm assuming yeah i use the ruler for this one wow and you enjoy this uh yeah awesome god damn you, I, i'm telling you you're gonna do really good now have wh what do you like do you work digitally at all oh uh, yeah i do okay what's the program that you like to work in uh procreate procreate and you have an <clears throat> ipad yeah i never see you i never saw you working it a lot of people bring it to you haven't brought it to class at all, but you do you yeah. use it a lot? I do use it a lot. When, now, okay, whoa, look at this page. Tell me a little bit about this page. So, um, I went over to my friend's dorm again, and this is her desk, and this is a more, a more zoomed out version. God, that is wickedly cool, wickedly cool. Sometimes, um, come on in, come on in. Uh, sometimes the messier, the better, really nice. God, that is awesome. So, okay, flip back for a second. Do, do you see how like detail focus that is, composition, design, and then we flip to the next page. Sorry for the shaking YouTube. And we have this gorgeous, quick, like two minute gesture pose. Now, is that from a photo or did you do that in class? Oh, uh, this is from a photo. Okay, really spectacular that you can switch gears like that. That is not easy to do. Whoa. I drew some of my friend's characters. Nice. I, I would love to see some of your digital work one day, maybe next semester yeah. um, when we do the composition and all that. And this was that experiment with trying different ways of drawing gestures. Yeah, it was a short gesture assignment. Nice. Do you like drawing gestures or do you like to do the long stuff? Um, I'm not used to, as used to the gestures yet, so I like doing the long stuff better. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's everything, 
We all hate you, Justine, because everything <laughs> is coming too easy for you. <laughs> we all hate you. So, um, yeah, your gestures are really relaxed, and that's what they're supposed to be, and that's great for you. And you're still not used to them, but they're relaxed, and that's, that's pretty impressive. The other thing that you get in your gesture drawings is attitude and sway of the hips and the shoulders. Like, yeah. do you push that purposely? Yeah, I do. Yeah, good, good, good. So what's the big difference between New York and California, in your opinion? Um, <clears throat> California is really suburban. Mm -hmm. And just coming here, everything's really tall and I feel like you can't see the sky sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I live out in the boondocks. I'm out in the suburbs. It's really country where I live, but it's well over an hour away, like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know if I would enjoy living in the city because, yeah, out of your imagination? Uh, no, this was from a Fashion Week picture, and I really liked the outfit, so I drew it. Awesome. Yeah, the handwriting, uh, you know, I keep talking about it, but it's pretty, God, it's yeah. pretty detailed out. Yeah. And then you're using different colors, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're coming down to the end of this sketchbook, and uh, how was this experience for you to fill one sketchbook, even though... I used to ask my class to fill two sketchbooks a semester. How was one sketchbook for you? Um, Too much? I think the thickness of this was really hard because um, like in the past, I had never really formally finished a sketchbook before. Yes, yes. So it was kind of hard, but it was fun. Okay. Yeah, you, you um, this was in class with just informal drawings. The students were posing on the model and stand. Yeah. And, uh, and then this was, tell us a little bit about these. So um, these are pictures I got, like reference pictures, and I just uh, drew them in pen. Wow. Yeah. And do you do the same style when you work digitally in Procreate? Um, no. I think for Procreate, I usually draw people and backgrounds. Okay. So I, I've never really tried drawing this type stuff. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Really good stuff. Back to the gestures. Come on in, Michelle. You are our next victim in The Price <laughs> is Right. Okay, so we have a couple more shoes, and that is a phenomenal page. Thank you. Nice. So did you save any pictures or pages for the field trip? Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. That's it. All right. Wow, Justine, I am so impressed. You are Thank a phenomenal you. artist. Thank you so much for sharing your artwork. And we will post your Instagram below, right? Yeah. All right. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed Justine's sketchbook. So give it a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon.